Hey guys, welcome back for today's video. I'm so excited. Ah! This is gonna be my first Halloween tutorial. I'm so excited. I live, breathe, and die for Halloween. I told you guys I was gonna be doing a video for every Friday in the month of October dedicated to Halloween. We're here for it. I need to order some more things on Amazon ASAP so we can get here for my looks. But this is gonna be my first one and this is actually a suggestion from my friend Robin. She actually just started a YouTube channel so I'm gonna leave all her information below. She's on Instagram if you're in the Houston area. She is also a freelance makeup artist. Totally check her out because she is like the nicest person in the world. She's so sweet so I'm gonna leave it below she had suggested that I did a more modern version of hocus pocus so that's what I'm gonna do I thought this would be a cool way to start off the Halloween makeup tutorial segments for the month because who doesn't love hocus pocus it is a classic so that's what we're doing today thank you Robin for the suggestion I would have never thought of that I don't know why it's a really good idea but um, I guess I'm just not that bright oh by the way I'm doing Winnie I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning but yeah I'm gonna be doing Winnie I thought let's just go ahead and do her I feel like every Everybody does uh, Sarah Jessica Parker's character because she's the cute one. I mean, Sarah Jessica Parker is adorable, but she's like the pretty, glamorous, cute one in the movie. So I was like, let's go ahead and do Winnie. I don't think she gets enough attention. She's the leader of the pack. We're going to do her. I don't have the same red hair color as she does, but I already had the red hair. But I thought I could show you guys how to do the hairstyle without having to go out and buy a wig or anything like that. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to go ahead and kick this into voiceover mode because I need to focus for Halloween like when it comes to the Halloween tutorials I need focus I need to like be able to listen to music or watch something on Netflix I can't talk like I'm not that talented if you guys want to see how I got this look just keep watching we're gonna go ahead and jump in right now okay so Winnie actually has no eyebrows in some pictures but if you look in others she has like very 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 sparse eyebrows so since I was doing something a little more modern I wanted to do like a thinner eyebrow but a little more prominent even though she really doesn't have any so I'm gluing down my eyebrows this is the first time that I've ever tried to do this um, I went over my brows with a glue stick translucent powder and then I dusted off the excess I did that about four times since my brows are pretty dark I probably should have done it more because they didn't they weren't as hidden as I wanted them to be this is the first time I tried this so um, I didn't do the best job but I would suggest probably doing it a couple more times if your brows are really dark but I did the best I could it pretty much at the end just looked like I had not plucked my brows in a while So here I'm just taking a makeup wipe and I'm honestly just following the shape of my brows. I just wanted to clean up all the powder and I had a ton of glue in my brows. So I'm just pretty much shaping them out so we had a nice clean surface around that area when we go in with foundation. So we're moving on to priming the face. I'm taking the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. I didn't want to go in with a mattifying primer like I typically would when I do makeup because I was working with face paints and foundations and lots of powder so I didn't want anything sticking or grabbing so I'm just going in with this one this is really good at hiding texture and your girl has a lot of texture right now so this really helped and then this is the LA girl pro matte foundation in beige I took some of the Mehron clown white I did two pumps of the LA girl and then I did like probably like a nice little scoop of the clown white and I just mixed it on the back of my hand until it was the right consistency that I wanted I wanted it to be very very fair I even actually went in and added a little bit more white because it was still a little too tan for my legging but I wanted to look like I had been dead for like the last hundreds of years so I just mixed it together on the back of my hand until it was the right color and then I'm going in with this eco tool sponge I'm taking it all over the face over the brows so you can see here I'm looking at my brows like shit I didn't do a good job covering them up but that's okay better luck next time but yeah I'm just taking it all over the face I really took my time blending this in as well okay so I'm also going in with concealer this is the Catrice high coverage concealer in or no high camouflage concealer I think I'll list it down below it's in the shade 020 I had a little bit of darkness so I just did a dab because at this point it's lighter than the foundation so I just did a little tiny dab to cover up darkness and then I'm setting everything with the ColourPop translucent powder I'm taking one of these little cosmetic sponges that you get at like Target for like a dollar or something like that and I'm just really pressing everything in 
especially since I added the Mehron face paint because it's really creamy. So I'm just making sure everything's nice and set and then I'm taking a powder brush and just further pressing everything in since those little sponges are kind of flimsy. I'm just like really getting all the powder in to my face. And I'm going in with this brown shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm using this little tiny brush. This is actually a lip brush I found randomly. I don't even know where it's from. But just this little tiny brush to create really thin brows. Like I said, I know she doesn't really have brows, but I wanted a more modern twist. So I'm doing just a nice thin brow. I wanted a little bit of highlight, so I'm taking this one from Laura Geller. It's just like this really iridescent highlight. I'm just going right under the arch. And then with the Kat Von D palette again, I'm taking the brownish gray shade. I'll list all the colors that I use below because I can't remember them off the top of my head. But I'm taking my little Sigma E40 brush and I'm doing a very more defined contour because I wanted it to look like... My cheeks were a little more sunken in and because I'm so pale, I really wanted to go in with like a more cool tone grayish shade. So I really took my time on this part too, just really kind of contouring, making sure that things look a little more prominent than they typically would. I'm also going around my chin. I wanted my chin to kind of stick out a little bit more. So I also went just right around the sides of my chin just to make it look a little more prominent as well. And then I'm taking that ColourPop powder again and I'm just um baking my contour i wanted my contour to be really structured and it was a little messy so i'm also just cleaning that up and then i'm taking this shade from makeup geek this is in the shade bedrock i'm using this to contour my nose i thought this would be a little more subtle because i thought that the kat von d one was just a just a little too harsh so i'm going in with, with this lighter gray and this is a bh cosmetics brush it's a studio pro blending brush I believe. I'll link it down below but basically it's just a smaller blending brush and I'm just contouring my nose. She has a longer nose so I kind of rounded out my nose at the bottom so it looked a little more long like hers is. And then I'm going in with my E40 and I'm just blending out that harsh line. It was a little harsh for me so I'm blending it out and then I'm going to go in and uh bake my nose because I wanted my nose to be just a little more prominent so I'm baking the sides right down the center and then I'm going to go in with this shade from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. It's the only bright pink that I have in my collection. I wanted to keep this part iconic because I feel like her blush is just like Bam. So I just did it on the very apples of the cheeks. I'm going in with that same Laura Geller highlight and I wanted to go ahead and highlight because she's a modern day girl. Just on the high points of my cheeks, my chin, and my nose like I normally would. And then I took Bedrock again with an E40 and I'm just contouring my eyelids. I didn't do anything too crazy. I didn't want the eye makeup to be super heavy. Still classic and still her but not too crazy. So um, I'm just going in with this as a transition like I normally would, taking that highlight again with my finger and just kind of pressing it on my lid, running it across the lid, and then I'm going in with Kat Von D Outlaw. And in the beginning, I actually did the shape of her lips, those kind of uh, little doll-like lips. Um, I'm actually going to go in and fill in my entire lip later on you guys will see it later on in the video but I just wasn't feeling this I was like I wanted to keep it a little more modern so we're just gonna go ahead and do the whole lip you'll see me fix it later on in the video okay I knew I wanted to do lashes so I went ahead and just coated my lashes with mascara but then I actually decided I wanted to do a wing I just wanted to take it one level up so um, that's why you see me doing the wing after mascara because I totally just decided last minute so I just did a like a little wing nothing too crazy or dramatic just something nice and cute and then here is where you see me I'm like uh, let's go ahead and fill in that lip girl so I just went ahead and filled in the rest of my lip and then I just dabbed a little bit of that highlighter on the center of my lips. Um, my camera actually stopped recording the lash part, so that part wasn't included. But I just applied lashes. I'm taking this powder brush and just kind of meshing everything together so it looks nice and seamless. And then moving on to the hair, I actually did my hair with a teeny tiny curling wand. I did really small sections, a small little wand it took forever. Your girl's got a lot of hair, but I did it. And then this part was so incredibly easy. Um, all I did was take the front of my hair because she has the front of her hair pulled back. So you want to separate it like you're kind of doing like a half up, half down or like a snooky poof. That's the best way I can describe it. And then I split it down the center in the back like we're doing pigtails. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm keeping the front part up and out of the way because we're going to pull that back later. 
but the two pigtail parts I'm just um, pinning it up I'm doing it higher up because she has that like you guys know her hair she has that iconic hairstyle so I'm gonna try to recreate it the best that I can I'm pinning my hair up and then I'm kind of the best way I can describe it is like I'm doing two little mini messy buns so I'm taking the hair sticking out of the ponytail and I'm pretty much just wrapping it around it's like I'm doing a messy bun but I'm gonna leave the bottom part out uh, because she has that really crazy curly hair so I just wrapped it around the ponytail once but instead of securing the whole like bottom part of the hair I'm just kind of leaving the bottom out so it looks really messy and crazy like Winnie's and then for that front part I'm just pulling it back now I noticed she has a widow's peak if you don't have a widow's peak you could just draw one on but I already have one so I just pulled it straight back and I'm securing it and then after I secure that little piece with a bobby pin I'm just gonna kind of pull little pieces forward because she has a ton of volume in the front of her hair just kind of play with it and make it how I want it I was looking down at a picture to kind of reference um, her hair and kind of make mine a little more similar to hers and that is it thank you guys so 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 much for watching make sure you subscribe before you go and i will see you in my next video bye